This is the Ulanzi SK04. It's a 26cm tripod that's amazing features and designs, but most importantly, it can go from this into this. Amazing, isn't it? So if you are looking for tripods such as this, there's amazing stability, but yet can compress into such a small size, then this video is for you. Besides its very compact size, there are features that is unique to this particular model. One of it is that it can not only go really high, it can go really low as well. So what you have to do is just open up its legs and you can put it right on the ground, giving you very low angle shots. Alright, I think it's more realistic if there's a camera on it. Ta-da! Our next feature, if you guys have already guessed it, is that it can actually turn into a monopod. So what you want to do is to unscrew the bottom over here. Alright, then take out one of its legs. There's a very particular leg which has this little uh, design over here so that you know which leg you can uh, take from because the rest, you are unable to screw it. Whereas this, you can take it out, loosen this part and fix it. Alright, and here you go, a monopod. Now, for some of you guys who are unsure what a monopod does, it's basically for all those who are shooting event videos, photography, that you want a quick stability in just one leg itself. Next, it actually comes with a mobile phone holder. Here I have my mobile, let's mount it up. And here is a tripod, let's screw it up. What I also really like about this mobile phone holder is that at the top, you have this cold shoe mount which can put lights and other accessories on it. I happen to have a light with me. Here it is. And look at it. One thing I also like is that they actually make the colour of the phone holder as close as they can towards the colour of the tripod itself. So something small but actually goes a long way for all those creating content. The next unique feature is actually there's a screw mount at the side of one of the legs over here. Having this screw mount opens up a world of opportunity. Now here I have is actually a clamp. You can get this anywhere on uh, online. It can actually help you to extend whatever accessories that you have. So all I have to do is actually to take the end over here and just screw it in. And accessories such as lights, you can just turn it over in over here. So once I have the clamp up, I have the light over here. And of course the camera with the microphone. This is a whole YouTube setup altogether. Last but not least, it's something that's often overlooked but actually matters a lot. How do I actually carry this? Does it come with a bag? Yes, it does. It actually comes with this little drawstring bag. And once you fit it all in, Neat, huh? Alright, let's head back home studio to talk about some of the things such as the specifications of these tripods and other points for you to consider. Now that we are back and I have some time using this, let's cover a few components of this tripod and find out what makes it good. We'll be doing an unboxing, specifications, pros and cons, and then finding my verdict. Basically, it's all over here, the time codes. But for a start, let's repack this to see what it comes in the retail package. Oops. Alright, so here you have the phone holder which comes separately and some allen keys to be able to screw in some parts of the tripods and it comes in this very neat little pouch and here's the tripod itself let's open it up so this is what you get in the retail package alright let's move all this aside and talk a bit on its specifications its length when folded measures about 26 cm or about 10.2 inches. When fully extended, it measures about 145 cm or about 47 inches. As for its weight, it measures about 750 grams or about 1.65 pounds. As for its material, I really like it. The main body is made out of this high quality metal aluminum alloy. So when I hit against it, you can hear that it's really solid and sturdy. Now let's talk a bit about the phone holder. As you guys seen from the start, it's actually made of plastic. And at the top, there's actually this cold shoe mount over here. In terms of quality, it's nothing to write home about, but it can hold even the newest iPhone 15 with a 5.5 cm to about 8.5 cm width. So I guess it's quite decent. So what's the price of the tripod? The tripod comes in at 59 USD with the phone holder included. So far, I'm just talking about all the good things of these tripods. Are there cons? Certainly, but before we talk about the cons, let's cover the reasons why I got this after already having so many tripods. For some of you guys who have been hanging around for a long time, you guys would know that I own a similar model. 
Now, this is actually the Gizmo's tripod. I actually love using this until something happened. Now, one of the legs... One of the legs gave way. I actually used too much force and eventually the legs broke. And I have not been using a similar model since until Ulanzi came out with their SK04. As you guys know, I use a lot of Ulanzi products and they are known to be quite of good quality. Quite good quality. And the only difference between these two models is actually just the screw mount at the side. Compared with other tripods that are out there, there's no tripod that actually comes down to 26cm and actually goes up all the way to 145cm and most importantly, have 3 legs. Other tripods that I have, such as my favourite MT44, has 3 legs but the stem at the centre is only one, so it tends to wobble. Whereas for either of these models, once you open it up, once you open it up, you actually have 3 solid feet which gives you much more stability. So for quick run and guns or lower angles, I'll definitely still trust my MT44, but for higher angles such as those that's within my uh, eye level, I would trust uh, for something that's more sturdy such as this. Sometimes carrying around a bigger tripod such as the, my Siri um, is a little bit more troublesome, whereas this one is more compact. With that out of the way, let's talk a bit about the cons. What are some of the downsides of this SK04 that other tripods might not have? Number one is that there's no quick release. At the top over here, you can see that it's just the ball head itself. Which means if I have to mount a camera, I literally have to do this. Which is very time consuming and to be honest, quite old school. Another word, outdated. It actually wastes a lot of time. Number two, it is weight. Now this one comes here about 750 grams, which is double of what my MT44 is. My MT44 weighs about 397 grams. Of course, I did mention that this is of a higher quality, but the weight difference does matter. Number three, it is mediocre phone holder quality. Now I've mentioned a lot of times that this is actually made of plastic which is actually very flimsy and a little bit disappointing. What I have with my MT44 is definitely of a better quality. If you can see side by side, one is made of metal and this one is more plasticky. So not a big deal, a slight con in my books. Last but not least is actually its legs. Now you guys seen what happened with the Gizumo's tripod. This happens if I use too much strength. But if I use too little strength, it risks retracting itself. So you need to have a very tricky balance in terms of using your strength. Not too hard, of course, not too soft. Other tripods such as my MT16 or the MT44, you can just lay it down and not worry about it. With the cons out of the way, of course there are pros of using this. Let's mention one of them. The first pro is its compactness. Compact city? Basically how compact it really is. Now if you guys know, I have a favourite sling bag, which is this. Sling, series Sling Light 8. Unfortunately, it's no more in production, but I use this very often. And if I put it into my bag and wear it, you guys can see that it fits in really nicely and even has space to spare to put my other equipments over here. Number two is his easy setup. Now, all I have to do is just open this, open this, open this, twist his legs. It's all done. Compared with other tripods, I don't have to waste time twisting some of its locks to have it secure. Number three is because of its stability. Having three legs is better than having one. When I put it again side by side, if I were to push this, it's much harder for it to fall down. If this were to be very high up, it will be easy, easily tiltable. And moving on to our last pro, it is additional 4 inch, quarter inch screw adapter. Having this makes a world of difference as you can probably mount different kinds of accessories on it. So let's conclude, what do I think about this SK04? Now there are no perfect tripods out there, but in terms of functionality, I would say this one comes pretty close. It is not just short, but also tall, heavy but sturdy, and has everything you need and more. And of course, I did not need to remind you, it actually comes with a very neat bag. You don't need to lug around a huge tripod in your backpack just to shoot content. All you need is just this 26cm little thing. Of course it does have its downsides but most of them, you can get used to it, time. With a price tag of only $59, with the phone mount included, there isn't much convincing to get me to buy one of these. It's small and it's brilliant. I buy tripods like this to review so that you guys don't have to, but obviously, it does not come for free. If you guys want to support me on my journey, do go over to my Patreon page over here and support me for as little as 10 cents a day. 10 cents a day. It will go a long way for me to purchase more gears to review and I have you to thank for. Do also check out my playlist over here, 
which I cover other gear reviews and most importantly those Ulanzi products which I love. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.